Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Ryujinx is turning up the heat quite a bit, and we're also talking about PCSX2. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off here, when it comes to Switch emulation on PC, you've really only got two different options. You've got Yuzu and Ryujinx. Now, it used to be the case that Yuzu was way better than Ryujinx, and Ryujinx was the up-and-comer. However, recently, Ryujinx has really closed that gap, and it does some things better than Yuzu. Yuzu does some things better than Ryujinx. We talked about Yuzu yesterday, and we're talking about Ryujinx today. Now, Ryujinx has just dropped their progress report for July. We've gone over some of this stuff in previous videos, and there might be some new stuff here. The progress report is very well written. There's a lot of detail here and we're going over it just at a high level. If you wanted to check it out, I'll drop a link to it in the description below and I do recommend checking it out. First up is one of the Patreon goals. The Vulcan GPU backend has been merged and it's recommended to use Vulcan when you are emulating Switch games. It performs better in general. We've also got some GPU resolution scaling fixes thanks to Ripper Rippy. Ripper Rippy? Rip Ripper Harry? I'm not quite sure how to say that. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, here certain Unity games are looking a heck of a lot better. This is the before. And well, this is the after. You can see a bunch of stuff got fixed. And here's another before and after, getting rid of those red checkerboard tiles. The SD Gundam Battle Alliance demo is now playable. Jump Force Deluxe is now graphically accurate, and that's thanks to GDK Chan. So this is the before, you can see the green bloom in the corner, and this is after, looking great. Bloom was fixed in games like Tokyo Mirage Sessions, going from virtually unplayable to looking a lot cleaner. The Ryujinx development team is still in the process of fixing the new Monster Hunter Rise DLC, but it is rendering and things are looking a lot better. And more thanks to GDK Chan, dithering has been improved in games like Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is before, you can't see behind the tree, but thanks to the improvements in dithering, well, the game is rendering much more correctly. The CPU emulation side of things have also improved. Things are a little bit more accurate now, and things have been added in to help out Super Mario Odyssey Online mod. The online mod to accommodate 10 players. And it also fixes a crash regression in Divinity Original Sin 2. Both Portal 1 and Portal 2 now boot, and they're both playable. Portal 1 is basically bug-free, and Portal 2 has a few graphical issues, but they are working on them. There have also been a bunch of improvements to their brand new Avalonia GUI. It's not yet released, but it looks like it's coming along very nicely. In addition to all of that stuff, they've also got some bug fixes, some performance improvements, and if you're wondering about Xenoblade Chronicles 3, you'll have to wait until next month. They are working on compatibility and as soon as I know more, you'll know more. Now one question I get constantly asked over and over and over again is what emulator should you use, Yuzu or Ryujinx? My answer here is the same as it was before, use both of them. If you're struggling with one game on a certain emulator, try the other one out and see if that helps. Both Ryujinx and Yuzu are amazing Nintendo Switch emulators, and for the emulation community, it's awesome we have both. Yesterday, I talked about how awesome the Yuzu devs are, and the Ryujinx devs are also killing it. They had an amazing month. And speaking about an amazing month, next up here we're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on PC with PCSX2. We don't have a progress report, but this emulator has made quite a bit of progress. To pick up the latest and greatest version of PCSX2, it is an experimental version, but head to PCSX2.net, click on the hamburger menu, and then click on download. From here, scroll down to where you see nightly build and pick up the latest version for your system. At the time of filming, it's version 1.7.3. 3218. This new build of PCSX2 has some interesting changes in here, some audio fixes that they say allow for weird sounds to come out of more speakers. We've also got some Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi fixes. It adds half a pixel offset special and full round sprite to Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, so it should look a little bit better. And if you like to play Charlie's Angels, well, it's looking a little bit better now thanks to some upscaling fixes. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.